her suspicions proved true, Siri had appeared in Skellige. She'd arrived from another world together with a masked mage. She and the mage had fought the wild hunt before fleeing through portals that carried them to Velen. There, one trail ended, another began. A good time later, the wild hunt had reappeared on Hindusfjall, meaning Siri too, might have returned to Skellige. Hey, how's it going, friends? My name is Angel Alex, and welcome back to the channel. We are back with some more of The Witcher 3. It is a stormy day in Skellige. Last episode, we finally found Dandelion, saved him, and he told us what happened with Siri. She basically vanished into thin air, so we didn't really have much to go off of that, um, but we still had a lead in Skellige, so we met up with Yen again. She used the mask we stole in a couple of episodes ago, and we have another lead. So we're here in, uh, I don't know how to pronounce it, so I'm just not gonna pronounce it because I don't wanna butcher it. <laughs> but we're in a new place, hoping to find some more, I guess, evidence, some sort of lead on Siri. Now, I had some of you guys tell me that some of these side quests are timed, apparently. And the further we get uh, into the story, they'll eventually disappear or they'll fail. Uh, and you guys told me it was the last wish. And then there's this other one called like the Phantom something it had an E in it. Um, I don't have any of those yet, so I'm assuming we're good. I think we're good to keep going at least one more episode. And then next stream, I'll you know keep a lookout for those those quests, and we'll get those done hopefully pretty quickly. But let's go ahead and keep her going. Ritual of some kind. We'll have to wait. We'll do no such thing. Girl. Dear sisters, pardon the interruption, but we've an important matter she to apologize? discuss. Can you not see we're commemorating the dead? So. And we're looking for someone who's still alive. Please, this is urgent. <sighs> then speak. They say the wild hunt destroyed this village. That is true. Though few believe us. You don't either, I'm sure. Did you see riders on skeleton horses? Wearing frost-covered armor? Aye, that's how it was. They landed on our shores in a ship made of the claws of dead men. Like in the ballads. Leif yelled to grab the children. Then they came, cut him across his face. He tried to whisper, only blood came out. You were to ask about someone, not prod their wounds. That's enough. What happened then? No, go on. Go on. I ran out to get help, to get Leif. But so many bodies. Yole, Ingvar, little Neki. Which way did the riders go? Towards the sea, through the ravine, on horses made of bones. Bones and ice and... Enough! Get to the point. Now. We're looking for a young woman, name of Ciri. Ashen hair, green eyes. I'm sorry. She is not here. Unless she lies in a grave. Oh. That is, I do not recall one by that name. But I buried so many, I may have forgotten. This, this Siri, uh, has she a scar here on her cheek? Yeah, 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 yes. yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes, what happened to her? I don't know. Saw her but for a moment, right before, before it all. She was in the stables with Craven. A thousand curses upon him. What was Siri doing there? Remember anything else? Anything at all? Only that she seemed tired. Very tired. And... and her hair was wet. Great. So we know she bathed. Progress. I'm sorry, Ska... Craven. My apologies. Craven. Craven could have told you more. This Craven you mentioned, does he have a name? He did. Until the elders struck him from the saga of ancestors. It's as if he has ceased to exist. The lore forbids anyone from touching him, speaking to him, even uttering his name. What did he do to deserve that? He fled from the wild hunt. He alone. We need to talk to him. 
Even if it's not in keeping with your customs. You've come too late. He went to the garden to fight Morkvag. Uh... A coward who willingly seeks battle? Am I the only one who sees the contradiction? That's why he did it. Craven knew he would prove the elders wrong only if he killed Morkvarg. And thus regain his honor and his name. Trial by ordeal. Very skeleton. I do not mock your lores. Please also respect ours. Uh, what's that? Where is the holy garden? What's that? Morkvarg. What's that? Who, you mean? The vilest man ever to inhabit Skellige. Nothing was ever sacred to him. He attacked his own clan's lands, took gold from Nilfgaard, killed children, pregnant women. Mm -hmm. Know the type. They said he feared only one thing, the wrath of the gods. Morgvarg sought to prove how wrong they were, so he sailed to Hindusfjall to ransack the goddess's garden. This was over a decade ago. Archpriestess Ulva stood in his way. He thrust a blade between her ribs and cast her down in the mud. As her lifeblood left her, she cursed him. And Morkvarg transformed into a beast. A curse? A monster? You've got some work to do. That's for sure. I'm not here to work. I can rid him, but like... Wasn't that the other guy? He was trying to do it too, and he was trying to like clear his name or whatever. I can get rid of Morkvark. Don't know what he's turned into, but a silver sword should do the trick. It's not that simple. There have been those who have bested Morkvark, yet he always returns. So, it's a complex curse. Hmm. Meaning I need more information. I understand, but I've told you all I know. Speak with Toradar's son, Einar. He was in the garden when Morkvarg and his men attacked. He saw what happened. Of all the pilgrims there at the time, he alone escaped with his life. He settled in Larvik. You'll find him there at the landing, provided he's not out to sea when you arrive. Where is this holy garden? Not far from here. North. We cultivated healing herbs there once. And now? Now we walk only as far as the tree the goddess planted. We place our offerings and make our pleas before it. Those who venture below remain in the garden forever. Thanks for your help. Thanks for your help. I understand you intend to enter the garden. I dislike it when foreigners enter the sacred grounds. But so be it. Custom demands pilgrims make an offering of their own blood before the tree. Craven surely did so. Unless he lacked not only courage, but respect for Freyr as well. You needn't worry about us. Geralt and I always give the gods the respect they are due. All right. Find Freyr's garden and look for Craven. mile away. This trail might have gone cold. Even if Craven's dead, we'll manage. How exactly? You'll see when the time comes. You could stand to be nicer sometimes. I suppose. But then I wouldn't be the woman you fell in love with, would I? Um, mind if we get this treasure real quick in? I, I, I hope not. Show me what you got. Forget what they don't like, Quinn. Oh, shit. That was quick. Three mighty strikes. <laughs> All right. Let's keep going. My, my. That must be more clock. A bite of just one morsel. One piece. A crumb. Morka? Is that what they said? That's his name? Is that what that is? <laughs> Shank! Not, not again! Not again! 
Oh, fuck. He doesn't seem happy to see us. Wait till he gets a closer look at me. All right, search for signs of Crave so, Craven near the where sacred stars. Let's go to that tree the sisters mentioned. Plan to bleed yourself for the goddess? Not necessarily, but Craven did. We just might pick up his scent. Craven was here. Look, the impression. Kneeled down on one knee and cut himself to make the offering. Bloodstains, see them? No. I may be inhumanly beautiful, but I don't have superhuman senses. Not like you. Which is why you should stay up here. No offense, but in that undergrowth and mud, it'd be like a... Ball and chain? Planned to say it gentler, but yeah, that's <laughs> basically what I had in mind. Fine. We'll do as you say. If the need arises, I can cast spells from up here. Uh, expected you to jack. See you later. Um, see you later. Fine. See you later then. Don't get hurt. Remember, I need you if I'm to find Siri. Don't worry about oh, come. me. I was just teasing. Fool. I need you. Period. Better? <laughs> mm. Better. It's kind of cute the way they like kind of tease each other and shit. Craven's blood, flowing profusely, trails clear. Should lead me to him. Oh, keep hearing noises. Light prints. Craven trod carefully. All right, this way then. Down here. This way. Oh god. Hi, doggy. Uh, that stench. Down. Down, boy. Alright. Follow the trail. Follow the yellow brick road. Follow the yellow brick road. Who is this? No bite marks. Morkfark doesn't need his victims. Strange. Is it Craven? No, this one's been here a while. What? I can't hear you. No. If you want to chat, come closer. Her senses are really dulled. Monster tracks. Running. Chasing something. Whoa, what's this? Sneaking around and attacked. Bitch. Craven's blood. Injured, started running. Craven's blood. Door won't budge. Craven must have blocked it, or it's just locked. Gotta go round. All right. Easily. I'm not sure. There's a cave entrance. It says I need to go up here. So 
found some big ass footprints here. It's probably what the little wolf thingy. <laughs> Forgot his name already. <clears throat> Lots of prints, old and new. His lair must be nearby. Oh. Can't cross that. Gotta go down, provided I can open the sluice. Mechanism looks pretty standard. One lever to choose the sluice gate, the other to work it. All right. Morkvark broke through this door. Must have smelled something beyond it. Uh oh. Symbol of Freya untouched. No sign of feeding. Morkvark doesn't devour his victims. Strange. Just likes to kill them, I guess. I'm a little nervous. It always grows back. Starting to envy you. Wish to hear a story. Ah, uh, sure, why not? If I have to, I'm all ears. Warriors came. They knew they could not kill me. So they laid a trap. Chained me down. Lock me in here. Know what I did? I bit my leg off. 127 I hours. I free myself. Every bite uh, brought pain. Uh, and howling, I vomited blood. Mm -hmm. Biting off your own limbs hurts. Who would have thunk? You don't understand. <gasps> This was more. My mouth burned. Like Oh, it's kind of full bad. As if all inside me was torn. Felt I would die. But I, I did it. And then. I shredded them, dashed them to bits, made tiny crumbs of those plowing heroes. These seem very aggressive, expecting pity, story have a point. This is probably the least aggressive. Your story have a point, we're just doing some chest pounding. The moral is you cannot kill me, cannot stop me, I'll not be bound, break any fetters, curse, free me, or I'll return to get you again. Oh, fuck. Let's see what this boy don't like. Let's figure it out. Um, what are... 
Uh, he's not any kind of special wolf. No. Would he be a curse? Would it be? It's cu cursed oil. Yeah, that's totally what it is. Do I have that? Uh, I guess I'll just try beast oil. Don't think that's gonna work or do anything, but it's worth a try. Oh, wrong one. Is the curse <laughs> makes me bite, uh, scratch, mangle uh, till I drop? Uh, uh, you've got time before the blood's gone from me and, and I return. Listen uh, uh, carefully. Uh, undo, undo the curse. Uh, free me. Uh, finally, I will, I will reward you. Um. Looking for a man named Craven. Apparently, came here to kill you. Seems it didn't work. I kind of don't want to kill him. Those who come rarely introduce themselves. What did he look like? Uh, no idea. Then I cannot help you. Uh, I've shredded uh, uh, many. Uh, uh. I don't want to be this kind of person, Mention but you mentioned a reward. Looted. Raided. Drunk most away. All but one. Uh, true. Treasure hid away yours. Just help me. So I feel so bad for him. I want to help him. I don't see what would be like what the consequences would be in help helping him. The only thing I could think of is uh, that guy Craven. He wouldn't be able to redeem himself and get his name back. But. Honestly, this guy's suffering. I feel bad. Um, I'm gonna help so, him. So, no joy in being a werewolf? Nay. It's the worst. Not the garden to which I'm bound, even. But the hunger. Anything I devour returns to ash. Ash I cannot eat, I cannot drink, yet I bloody live and roam and prowl. The hunger is terrible, ah, terrible. I bite my own flesh. But the smallest morsel burns in my throat like boiling tar. Everlasting hunger. Classic as curses go. Goes to explain why all those corpses went untouched. Help, or I'll return to shred. Yeah, and like, if I don't help him, he's just gonna come back anyway. Like, I need to help him, I feel like. What would I can Wouldn't count on it. See what I can do. See what I can do. See and do, or I shall return. <laughs> I have to feed him something. I'm sorry, what? What? 
What? I'm confused. Here, try some delicious pork. It'll bring you back to life. Oh, wait, what's this? Ah, oh, yes, raspberry juice. What am I supposed to do? I don't want to kill him. Nothing! This is a mockery! Think this a diversion? I catch you again. I'll have reason to laugh. I don't want to kill him, but I'm. I I don't know what to do. I don't want to kill him. I, what if I just leave him? Farewell. See you soon. I'm puzzled. He's gone now. I don't know what to do. Oh, I don't know. All right, well, I guess that was just a delay. If we can figure out, here we go. We need to figure out what happened to this guy. Craven's blood. Down here. Prince lead to the well. Guess Craven didn't want to be eaten, preferred to drown. Oh, let's just jump into that. Yippee! Oh, oh. <laughs> hey, can you hear me? Geralt, you scared me. Sorry, didn't mean to. I hope not. Guys, look, I learned how to use a torch. <laughs> Craven's blood. All right, so he's obviously here. More of his blood. 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 Oh shit. Is he dead? Damn. Dead. Has been for a while. Yen, found him. And? And I've seen rot fiends in better condition than this. Shit. Fine, scrape together what you can and haul the bits up here. Uh, I'm guessing you have a plan? Take it you've got a plan? No, I just like to stare <laughs> at rotting flesh. <laughs> We'll talk when you get here, all right? Uh, That's Yen, charming as ever. All right. Come on, someone wants to meet you. Hope I don't actually have to lug him all the way back up. Okay, cool. <laughs> nice. You got a long sword. What is this guy's issue? Oof. Putrefaction set in, but the vocal cords are intact. We might still get something out of him. Doesn't look like the talkative type. Anyone can be made to talk, even a corpse. One must simply know how. Thought necromancy was strictly forbidden. So is premarital sex. But I'm not about to be bothered by such foolishness. Black magic's no joke. Casting those spells never ends well. Never. I don't like it any more than you do, believe me. But the thought that Siri is in danger? I like that even less. I understand. Still doesn't give us the right to... Geralt, please. This is not the time to debate ethics. Need any ingredients for the spell? Hmm. The blood of a newborn, a virgin's tongue, and the eye of a newt. Mind trying again without the sarcasm? <laughs> I don't need a thing. I'm a sorceress, not a village herbalist. All I need is energy. A great deal of energy. We're very lucky this place is saturated with magic. <laughs> it's also considered sacred. Priestesses will be furious if you use the garden's power to revive a corpse. Geralt, you're getting on my nerves. I offer you solutions, you try to poke holes in them. Um, fine, let's get to work. I mean, I kind of agree with her. Like, they don't really have a choice right now. We don't have any other lead. 
we kind of have to do what we got to do. So let's just get to work. Sorry to bother you with my doubts. Please, Geralt. That's just it. Your please is never a request, only ever a command. But let's move on. Let's get to work. Selene, Selene, Dufresne. Selene, Selene, Davidar. Ah, uh, he's rising. It's alive. Are you Craven of Lofferton? No, I. Looking for sure you died in battle, you recovered your honor. Looking for Siri. We're looking for Siri. Ashen hair, green eyes. Have you seen her? She's wise. They cursed me. I don't care about that. What happened to her? What was she doing here? Speak. alive now. Or no, it's a flashback. It's a flashback. Siri, Zirel, can you hear me? I can. I must leave you now. We will meet beneath drowned dead rock. Can you remember? Mm -hmm. Repeat it. Drowned dead rock. You're awake, and I thought you'd... Where, where am I? And who are you? It's all right. You're on Hindersfjall, village of Lofoten. They call me Skjall. But how'd I... What? We fished you out of the sea. Me and that friend of yours. Uh, was I out long? How long did I lie there? All day, near about. It was morn when we brought you in. Night's near come now. Damn. Too long. You needed the rest. Desperately. Been through a lot, eh? Got some nasty, fresh-looking scars. Oh, boy, you want... No, we don't have to address that. We don't have yes. to address that. I've been through a lot. I never thought women on the continent did any fighting. Sometimes they have no choice. And where is he? My friend. Stepped out a while ago. Said he needed to find a boat. Why does he wear that mask? Something not right with his mug? No. He simply doesn't like others to see it. Help... Help me stand. I... I don't... I don't think you should... Less talk, more giving me a hand. Ah, 
Ah, that's me brother for you. Out of sight for a second, and he's already put his paws on a girl. <laughs> Astrid, you're as dim as dishwater. You know perfectly well I'm helping her up. It's a shame, I know, but I've got to interrupt your courtship. Come, we're off to the sauna. What? Why is your mouth agape like you're noodling for an eel? The sauna. Girl, you was blue as a whale when we brought you in here. Your blood needs thawing. I feel fine now. Really, there's no need. I feel fine now. Hey, fine. You can't stand on your own two feet. And it's no surprise with your muscles frozen stiff. But don't you worry. Mom and I will take care of you. I'm sorry, but I must get to Drown Dead Rock as fast as possible. I shan't force you to stay. But the rocks are ways off and you can barely walk. You best take a horse. True. Skial can prepare a horse for you. You'll have to wait a spell, but even so, you'll get there faster than on foot. Fine, that'll do. Thank you both very much. Pish posh, there's no need. Now come, we gotta sweat the sick out of you. Where are my clothes? I've taken them already. Come on. They're nice. All right. That man in the mask. He's from afar, isn't he? Oh yes. From very far away. Where exactly? Aren't you nosy? Surprised? Been sitting in this fish puddle me whole life. I'd love to travel like you. Like me? No, he wouldn't like that. Trust me. Um, I put some clothes on. Or is she taking on me? Taking me to my clothes. So weird, just walking around with a bandage. You go and get out of those rags. All right, all of them. I should think so. Uh, undress. Leave the chain. Un undress. Why is this an option? Undress. Oh. Wait, I can choose to go in there naked is that what they're i'm confused but i don't even know what i look like but let's go to the sauna wrap yourself in a towel Wait. oh she's judging me oh ew Finally. i was so worried you'd... ah mom you always worry everything's fine ain't it mm. less boobies yes. i have to it's censor fine. good that's good. But why have you got the towel, child? It'll just get wet. Mom, she's from the continent. She's shy. I'm so cold. I'm not shy. I'm not at all shy. I just wanted something to sit on. Hmm. Expect me to believe that? <laughs> Astrid, behave yourself, or I'll send you to gut fish with your pa. Here we are, gabbing away. Steam's gone. Gotta douse the coals. Say, back home, have you got saunas too? You know, I don't really have a home. I'm a traveller. Ah, oh, that's right. Where was your ship headed? Ship? We fished you out of the sea. We thought you were in a shipwreck. Uh, yeah, of course. Yes, my ship. We set sail from Novigrad. And what brings you to Skellige? I'm here looking for someone. Not your betrothed, I hope. Why? It'd break Skjall's heart. <laughs> He's head over heels for you, girl. Sat at your bedside all the day, staring like he was painted by a master. Astrid, I asked you not to tell her. Oops. Well, now the milk's spilt. Do you fancy Skull? Um, he's nice. He's not half bad, seems nice. To tell the truth, I prefer women. Oh, <laughs> all the above. All the above. Um, he seems nice. He's not half bad. Um, he seems nice. 
Well, he seems nice. Oh, oh my. He's that bad? Leave it, Astrid. Who she likes is her affair, and it's not to you. I mean, we only just met Listen, the guy. It's lovely sitting here with you, but I really must go now. I understand. Who'd want to stay in this hole? We're all related three times over, and the air stinks of fish. I can't see how you're related to anyone here. No one in Lofferton groans and bitches quite like you do. Sit down and be quiet. Child, Sial's certain to have readied the horses by now. But before you go, you ought to take a quick jump in the water. It'll do you good. Uh, I really should go. Why not? I suppose. Why not? Head through the door and you'll see the pier. Be careful. It's slippery. Thank you once more. And once more, there's no need. God's bless your journey. The granny's boobies are... They were jiggling. <laughs> Jump to the water to cool off and regenerate. Drink a shot of Freya's fire water. Okay. Into the water. Cold. All right. Oh. oh, you're here. The horses are ready. As am I. Shall we ride? Listen, I... I hope... My sister, she didn't talk any nonsense to you, did she? Uh, just said that you liked me. I'm sorry, but I really don't have time right now. I'm, I'm, I'm gonna play, play, no. play with them a bit. Uh, except to mention that you fancy me. Wh what? But I asked her... Besides, it's not... Of course, you are very, but you know what? <laughs> Let's ride. You're in a hurry and it'll be dark soon. Mm, not much. N Ooh, he's kind of cute. I like the sheetless and Siri has been through some shit. She needs some time to just chill, you know? Uh, let's, let's, let's flirt with them a, a bit. I'm not in that much of a hurry. <laughs> oh shit, okay. <laughs> Your first kiss, wasn't it? Of course it weren't. Uh, aye, me first. We don't have much time, but it's enough for you to learn a few things. And I guess he does die, so... He had his first kiss before he died. I can look after myself. Oh, let's go. A glitch out like that. What the fuck is that thing? Oh, it's a wild hunt. Shit. Bitch ass motherfucker. Wait, wait, wait. Special. Isn't it like there it is? <laughs> Shit out of him. <laughs> Shit. So many of them, I have to go, I have to go. What? 
What was that? The Wild Hunt. Right, the log. The world's end. No, not yet. But I must go. They're here for me. Get on the horse. I'll show you the way to the rock. What about your family? Thanks. We had on time I to talk right now. We need you. to go. You can thank me once we get there safe. Let's ride. Watch out! Ride, silly! Don't look back! Oh, shit. Faster! Faster! They're catching up! So they cursed him. The wild hunt cursed him. What? what? The fuck is that? of that creature. Where is he? What? I saw him and stood us. But he sold him. To whom? No. No. Be gone. You uh, tell them. Clear my name. <laughs> Be gone, I say. <laughs> It died. Like I said, the spell, it requires a great deal of energy. You knew it would end like this, didn't you? Didn't consider it worth mentioning? No. I knew you'd protest. Your sense of decency is charming, but it does get in the way sometimes. Yen, are you alright? I'm fine now. The spell. Imagine putting wriggling cockroaches in your mouth. 
or swimming in manure. That's more or less how it felt. She's gonna get mad if I say that, but like, she kind of should have a little. I kind of agree. Ugh, but, uh, Could have shown some sympathy for the boy. He. That was no boy, Geralt. It was a hunk of rotting, rancid flesh that spoke through my magic. Didn't just speak, it howled in pain. I know it seemed real, but it was no longer human. Do you understand? Geralt, I know we should talk, but not here, all right? I don't wish to stay a moment longer. The garden! Our garden! Why could you? We helped! And you! Unconceivable! Now, now. Don't you dare try to calm me! We'd every right to be furious! Furious! And you! You will pay for this! Great. I'm sorry. We had no choice. Excuses are apologize. Apologize. I'm sorry. Is that all? Will you say nothing else? Nothing that would help. I shall make sure all Skellige hears what you did here. Wait. Sounds like a Karen. I did this. I alone. Geralt tried to stop me. I refused to listen. This quest, bro. They warned me about you. I got so many Source feelings messy. right now. None shall open their door to you. None shall feed your hunger, and none shall tend to your wounds. Oh my God! This is all gone to shit. Yen, you didn't have to do that. But I wanted to. I'd rather not talk about it. We must focus on what Scal told us. Didn't learn much, though. Though we can be sure Ciri's not in Skellige anymore. Not in Velen or Novigrad either. She's disappeared. Again. Perhaps we should re examine what we've learned. We might have missed a clue that would push us forward. Certainly hope that's the case. <sighs> Makes me wonder what she's gotten herself into. Can't even begin to imagine. But we will pull her out of it. Safe and sound. That I promise you. I'm I'm kind of okay, so like that they cursed him. Is he the soul that's trapped inside that wolf? Is that him? What now? I, it's just a theory. I don't know if I'm right or not. I mean, because the lady did mention. I, I got a little confused at the beginning. I, I, anyway, let, let's just keep going. Let's keep going. Key to finding Siri is that ugly thing Skell saw on the beach. That's what I think. You know, I saw something or someone who looked just like that. Where? In Velen, at a castle until recently ruled by a self-proclaimed baron, now controlled by his right-hand man, Sergeant Ardal. Oh yeah. You must go and get the creature. I don't know. Buy him, kidnap him. The thing's clearly cursed. Its mind is a jumble. Can't have anything resembling a normal conversation with it. Grumbling won't get us anywhere. All will be well. A curse, please. Nothing a sorceress and a witcher couldn't handle. Now, tell me, do you... No, never mind. What? What do you want to say? You were going to ask me something. What was it? Tell me, do you think, is there a chance that thing might be Siri? That, well, she's been transformed by some curse? Don't even want to think about it. Geralt, we must. Might be. From what I know, she was looking to cure a powerful curse while in Novigrad. But I'll lose it if I try to deal with that possibility now. We have to do what we can, see what happens. Ciri's trail in Skellige. We followed it, exhausted the possibilities. Might be time to go back to the continent. Before you do, there's one thing. It's important. What's that? Let's meet in Larvik. 
at the warrior's This is the last wish quest, we'll huh? There. So you need a bit of time. I need a bit of time. Can we do this later? Sorry, need to take care of something. Well, if you must, you must. I shall wait for you in Larvik for a time. If you don't make it, we'll meet in Vizima. After all, we do owe the Emperor a report. Ciri's our concern, ours alone. Perhaps. But that is not what we agreed with Amir. We must see him. Being awfully loyal to your patron. He's your patron as well, dear. Don't forget that. Lest he remind you of it himself. So be it. If we gotta, we gotta. So be it. We'd never have known Siri had returned if not for Emma and his agents. We owe him this. I agree. See you again. Take care of yourself. Wait. This matter in Larvik. It really is important to me. I'd appreciate it if you didn't tarry. Well, we'll definitely be doing that next stream. For sure. Woo! Necromancer. What a quest, dude. Oh my god, wait, the ugly baby. That, I was like, I knew that thing looked familiar. Remind me of the Baron. Like, that's the thing that, oh my god. Oh my god. Oh, okay. Holy shit, so much happened in that quest. Dear Jesus Christ. Oh my goodness. I was going through so many emotions. <laughs> I have no idea. All right, so we're not gonna be continuing the main quest for a while. I wanna get all this shit done in the next stream, video, whatever. I'm knock it all out, all of it. And I, I gotta get back on the contracts too. Jesus. So I'll probably do some of this off, maybe like some of the stuff off screen. Maybe just like the contracts and the hunts and stuff like that. But next stream, we're gonna be seeing a lot of side quests and a lot next videos probably as well, because I don't wanna continue the main quest until I've done a lot of this stuff. But I am gonna go ahead and end the episode there. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you give it a big thumbs up and subscribe down below if you haven't yet. Check out all the links down in the description if you're interested in any of the gear I use. And I'll see you guys in the next video.